Alright, welcome back guys. So the 5th year anniversary stream has just finished. I know some of you might not have had the patience to sit through it all, so I've got all the important information for you. So stay tuned and I'm going to do it in as short time as I possibly can. Alright, so the main point of the 50th anniversary and most of the reason why people were there is waiting to see what is happening with the Resident Evil chapter. I'm going to play the trailer now for you. As you can see from it, you've got Raccoon City, you've got Nemesis, Jill and Leon. Map is going to be mainly based on the main hall, the archive, the police station from Raccoon City. It did actually mention the developers that you're going to recognise the map if you've played the Resident Evil rework. For this chapter there is going to be two survivors, Jill Valentine and Leon Kennedy. Now they've mentioned some of the gameplay aspects of them, they haven't spoke about the perks and that yet. I have yet to download the PTB, that's just happening now. But just to give you a quick rundown, one thing they mentioned about Leon Kennedy is new gameplay to DBT. He's got a unique item and it sounds like he can make things in the map, so that's going to be very interesting. Right, the new killer is Nemesis. I'd like to say I called all this, my last week's video, I called Nemesis, Jill and Leon. But anyway, Nemesis, he has a T-Virus and he can infect people. He does have a tentacle attack. When he hits someone with a tentacle attack, they're going to be sick and vomit, pretty much like the plague by the sounds of it. Then, if he damages you again with the tentacle, his tentacle is going to have more reach. So they did mention he'll be able to hit over pallets and that, the more damage you can get on a survivor. Survivors will have the options to get a vaccine, which are going to be around the map to cure the infection, but we were told there is limited quantity, so choose wisely. Now, the most exciting thing for me with this killer is they are introducing AI characters to help you out. These are going to be zombies patrolling around. These zombies are going to be able to bite and infect survivors around the map. Very, very exciting. Very, very interesting. Interested to see how the AI helps out. And finally, the release date for the Resident Evil chapter is June the 15th. What do you think, guys? Drop me a comment. Let me know. Are you happy with this chapter? I, for one, am very hyped about it. Really looking forward to trying this killer out. The killer does have a bit of a plague stroke pyramid head type vibe to them. But, like I said, I will be playing on the PTB and I will be releasing some videos of the gameplay. So, stick around and check them out. Onto the roadmap. So, the roadmap is the developer's way of telling us what's coming next. We know there's going to be four more killers, five more survivors and two new maps. So, they mentioned a bit about first stepping into the fog, game health, the realm beyond and design. So, in regards to first stepping into the fog, they are anticipating new players coming along, especially with this chapter. So, they are going to rework the tutorials. This is definitely long overdue because the tutorials don't really give you much of a good base to do it. Now, the most exciting thing is new players will have the opportunity to have bot matches. I didn't quite pick it up on the stream, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but it'd be interesting if we can have bot matches as well to practice new killers, things like that. Something which I have mentioned before and requested because that is a good way of practicing new killers and survivors as well. Now, they talked about the barriers into the game. We know matchmaking's an issue, that's something they're looking at. One thing they noted is they are looking to incentivize different players playing a different role. So, say for instance, at certain times, they know there's a lot of survivors on less killers, they will put an incentive on to make players play as killers and vice versa. They're also introducing an auto ban feature. So, they said at the minute they have got that feature where you thumbs down, thumbs up, report, and they are looking at reworking that. Then they went and discussed about the realm beyond. Are they going to add more maps to the game? Yes, that was said. Next was the future of DVD. So, there were three things to come out of this, and this was killer update, perks, and Mori update. Now, killer updates, they were talking about the reworks to the killers. They were given some timelines in regards to chapters. So, when the chapter's released, by the next chapter, that's when a rework might happen to that killer. Things like balance changes, reworks, things like that. 
perks they've added a new survivor perk now it's called a boon totem they didn't go into much detail about what it does but it is going to change the gameplay slightly and finally they mentioned mori update they're going to look at how to trigger a mori integrated into the trial rather than you take an offering giving you the chance to do a mori by the sounds of it in all games you go into they didn't go into too much details in that but if i was a hazard a guess i would say something along the lines of so many hooks before you can do it so many hooks in total things like that and it did say survivors interact to prevent that as well for all you killer mains out there before you start smashing your keyboards up saying what about keys Keys were mentioned and this is going to be tied in with the Mori system. Again, not a lot of details on that, but enough for us to know that reworks are coming up. Now, they went on to mention about activities. So there was a lot of community projects, there's Pride Month, hashtag Into the Rainbow was mentioned, new charm for Pride, new emote. 1st of July, 15th of July, they're reintroducing the crown event. If you played last year, you're going to know. Basically, you unlock a crown cosmetic for the character. Don't forget, it's just for the originals. If you interact with the crown in the game and survive as a survivor or just plain as killer. They've also mentioned about adding confetti items into the blood web, unlock items, especially cosmetics, things like that during that event. In the first week of the event, they're going to make sure that players can earn enough iridescent shards to get a new character. So they are going to make sure that everyone can get a new character. They did go on to say that I know that some people always have all the characters available anyway, diehard players. The other thing they're going to have is the Shrine of Secret is going to change daily in the two week event cycle and they're gonna reduce the cost of shards so you can get items more often in the Shrine of Secret. Normally it updates every week, it's gonna be updating daily. And finally they did say the PTB is now live guys. So if you are on Steam, on PC, you can go and download the PTB and try out a new killer. Like I said earlier guys, I am going to be playing some killer games, I am going to be uploading them, checking the new map out, checking the new killer out, we'll even check the new survivors and perks, and I will be uploading videos. So if you haven't already done so guys, please consider pressing that subscribe button and it will update you when I release those videos. And if you've enjoyed this update, saved yourself nearly an hour and a half of trying to fish your way through the mainstream, then please give this video a like and drop me a comment what you're most hyped about guys are you excited about a new event it all sounds really great i've got to say it was a really good event or really good stream about the event looking forward to everything coming out everything that was on there was really positive they did speak about game design things i had as well really really positive so really excited guys as i say i am off now to play the ptb if you are guys have fun with that and i will see you on the next video thanks guys